Hey, what's good? King Shawanda on Facebook. Z I L L I O N D O L A B A B Y baby. That's on Twitter. Basically, what I'm doing here is respond to the talk topic by my friend Trinity. Um, she asked if we thought that a three-way relationship would work. Well, a three-way relationship basically is a relationship with three people. So, of course, someone is going to get slighted. Someone's going to have a problem with that. But me personally, I don't think that I could do it. I would rather have the threesome where the other party would, would be gone. But the only thing about that is I don't know if I could see my wifey with somebody else you know if she was just something then yeah i could see that but i don't i don't know man this is crazy but of course in a three-way relationship somebody is always gonna get slighted because like you said one person might do something better than the next person so you always gonna slight some way you know what i mean because you're gonna always lean toward the one that you like the most so I really don't think it's a healthy relationship because it's going to be a lot of jealousy and a lot of insecurities because one of them is going to think that somebody is getting more than them. And then they're probably going to end up not liking each other because of the common factor, which is you. Um, but if it was me and two other girls, I think I could handle that because they don't necessarily have to deal with each other. They just deal with me. And I control who gets what time. Um, I think I remember, Trinity, I think I remember you and your three-way relationship. And you also talked about bisexual women. And yes, it's hard for lesbian women to contract STDs and AIDS because it takes a lot of our bodily fluids. And yes, men can pass... STDs on quicker to women, especially AIDS and HIV. And, yeah, I I think I would respect the woman more if she put it out there that she was bisexual because you have a choice. It's like she's not making you deal with the situation. And me, I'm all about choices. I want to make my own choice. I want to make my own decision. And I don't want nobody to make that for me. Now, if I already know that you're dealing with a dude and I deal with you, and that's that's on me, but don't force me to deal with that situation. Um, it's crazy, and then guys, bands that I hang with them, you see the stuff that they do on a daily basis, and like they might fuck five girls in one day and no condom, no shower. Niggas is nasty, really, seriously. Um, well, I really don't go on a lot of dates, but. I had a fucked up meeting part of my friendship I mean, Like, my homegirl hooked me up with this girl that she knew from her job and was like, um, shorty like you, shorty seeing you, she trying to holler at you, so I'm not really touched by that. So, the girl texting me, keep texting me, and she like, yeah, I'll let you do whatever to me, like, mind you. I've only known her for probably about a week now. I mean, I'm really not trying to have sex with you right now. So, she just kept coming, coming. So, I said, all right, send me a picture. She sent me a headshot. So, when a girl send you only a headshot, she's probably busted. So, I say, hey, hey I, don't, I don't want the headshot. I want you to send me a, a, a whole body shot. I want to see the whole visual. You know, I'm still waiting for that. But anyway, so I ended up going over to the girl house. I'm sitting outside in the car. My homegirl sitting on the, the front of my car. Like, she's trying to block me in so I can't leave when I see the girl. So the girl comes out, and I couldn't really see her because it was a van, like, right in front of her house. And where I was parked at, I'm only looking at the porch, so I'm not, like, right in front of her house. So she, you see her walking and shit, and... I see the shoes she got on, they they some new balance, like, she is, like, totally on the side of the motherfuckers. I'm like, man, come on, nah, this can't be. So, my homegirl just straight bawling, laughing at me and shit. So, this big bitch come out from behind the van, yo, 
Tad was a mess, man. She had on some dumbass clothes. I'm looking at this bitch like, seriously, like, I know you don't think that I'm really gonna holler at your big ugly ass. Seriously. Really. So, like, I try to, like, not hurt people's feelings. Well, that was then. That was about 2006. Right now, I don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings. But, anyway, I try not to hurt her feelings. So, I, she would call me. I'd be like, yo, I'll call you back. I'm doing something right now. You know, it's really important. I'll call you back. Never call back. So, she would get to texting me. I wouldn't text her back. So, I'd be like, yo, stop texting me. I'm going I'm to hit you up, for real. So, one night, she just called me like, yo, can I ride your strap? So, I'm like... No. So she's like, um, why? What you scared? This, this, and that. So I'm like, nah, you just not my fucking type. Stop texting me. So she stopped texting me. But it's like, all situations is different. You know what I mean? I choose to not take women out because, don't even, I will, but I don't because when you step into the relationship paying for everything, whether it's just a relationship or a friendship, they expect that all the time. Like, sometimes I want a bitch to pay for my shit. Like, seriously. So, just like out of past experiences and shit, like, I just choose not to date, but I will. So, basically, that's my response. Um, I hope it was helpful. I hope you got an insight on my evil way of thinking. I'm going to continue to reply. Trinity, what's up?